1v1 disaster text Jiang Quan believes that. In a world plagued by various disasters, hoarding is the hard truth. She hoards various goods using various methods. The more you buy, the larger the space. I think I am also a thick-legged person who can take care of my younger brother. Until I saw the real big shot Jiang Quan carries a mind full of question marks. Hmm. Can the game still be played like this? Come and read more of my works on the website under Yuewen. Keywords of the novel. Game slow wear. Hoarding, I am serious without pop-ups. Game slow wear. Hoarding, I am serious. Download the complete text. Game slow wear. Hoarding, I am serious. Read the latest chapters. Chapter 1. Survival. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 1 Survival in the year 2861 AD, the Earth's environment was further damaged, and human environmental protection efforts could not keep up with the extent of its destruction. The Earth entered another glacial period. The surface temperature has reached over minus 80 degrees Celsius, making it difficult for humans to survive on the ground. All of them have moved to underground life, and underground castles have emerged. Fortunately, with the rapid development of technology and the flourishing development of AI, many tasks on the ground have been replaced by robots that are not afraid of the cold. The development of AI has its advantages and disadvantages, as it permeates various industries and replaces a large amount of human work with AI. The positions suitable for humans have been greatly compressed and turned into a pursuit of mental power. Many people cannot find jobs, and the wealth gap is further widening. A small number of wealthy people have endless amounts of money to squander, while most ordinary people find it difficult to even afford three meals a day. The government has implemented a rescue operation to address this issue. Every unemployed resident can go to the rescue station with their ID code to receive three meals a day of nutrient solution and a living quarters. Due to the low temperature, many animals and plants cannot survive, and vegetables are even more difficult to grow. Due to the scarcity of resources, the food that was once eaten every day has become a high consumption that only wealthy people can enjoy. Although there are many underground castles, there are more enduring humans. Although many people froze to death on the way due to the rapid drop in temperature. The underground castle is still overcrowded. In order to better utilize space, each castle is divided into different areas, including living areas, work areas, and consumption areas. There are subdivisions in the living area, including relief areas, where one sleep chamber after another is placed. 5.10 sleep chambers share the same restroom. However, due to the need to drink nutrient solution, the demand for humans to use the restroom is greatly reduced. Therefore, although so many people share the same restroom, it is not considered crowded. In addition to the relief area, there is also a family area. Family areas are divided into living areas based on the population of the family, and a certain fee needs to be paid. If you want to live more spacious, you need to pay more fees. If you have a job, financial ability, and can also rent or buy more comfortable places. Of course, in addition to these, there is also the affluent areas, who can always make themselves extremely comfortable under any environmental conditions. Most ordinary people live in relief warehouses by eating nutrient liquids, while those with better conditions can choose various flavors of nutrient liquids or live in family warehouses. The nutrient solution sent by the rescue station has no taste, but it can ensure the energy needed by the body. Although the rescue warehouse is very crowded, technology is powerful. Although it is just a sleep warehouse, it also has many other functions. Sleeping inside, you can shop online, play games, and it is holographic, learning, watching videos, TV, and movies. It has all the functions of the internet, and in addition to these, it can also serve as a basic healthcare provider. It can be said to be extremely convenient. Jiang Quan is one of the many beneficiaries. Jiang Quan doesn't have much dissatisfaction with his current life. Although he doesn't have a job or income, 
there is a place to sleep and not go hungry, and he can play games without any mental burden every day. Before the arrival of the glacier period, Jiang Quan was a freelance manga artist who spent more than 10 hours every day drawing pictures he didn't like, and was also worried about being replaced by AI as a member of the unemployed army at any time. Compared to the hair that used to be lost in droves every day for the sake of just a little rice. Jiang Quan even felt a hint of happiness. Not having to work is just fun. End of this chapter. Chapter 2 Upward You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 2 Upward Up Every morning at around 8 o'clock, Jiang Quan would go to the rescue station in a long queue, collect the nutrients for the day, and then return to the sleep chamber in the relief area to start the day's gaming life. Jiang Quan doesn't like to play those popular competitive games. She really likes lifestyle games, such as planting crops, raising animals, and raising flowers. What cannot be satisfied in real life, I especially hope to achieve my wishes in the game. Although there is no pressure in this kind of life, when the initial freshness passes, it gives people a sense of decadence and powerlessness. I thought this kind of mediocre life would last until the day it became unsustainable. But three months after Jiang Quan came to the rescue area to live, he unexpectedly received news from his parents. At the time of the transfer, my parents tried hard to persuade various relatives and friends, but could only transfer Jiang Quan alone in advance. However, my parents themselves stayed in the last few batches of transfers. Many people remain permanently on the way to transfer, and the number of missing and dead cannot be counted. After Jiang Quan moved underground, he lost contact with his parents. After the government implemented the rescue operation, Jiang Quan has been trying every means to contact his parents, but there has been no communication available. In fact, Jiang Quan has already prepared for the worst. When Jiang Quan had given up hope, his parents suddenly contacted him. The feeling of recovery from the loss was indescribable, and it was indeed God's favor for her. Originally, after sending Jiang Quan to transfer, my parents would sell and exchange their savings and assets as much as possible, and prepare various materials to keep warm. Later, the temperature plummeted and many transportation tools became unusable. My parents used the materials they prepared to help many people. They worked together to find an underground castle. Jiang Quan only realized that the rescue operation for each underground castle did not start at the same time, and the rescue operation for the underground castle where his parents were located was much later than the castle where Jiang Quan was located. Before this, my parents had been working hard to survive for their stomachs. Until recently, with the opening of the rescue station, my parents also became one of the rescued ones. With the sleep chamber, my parents finally had the opportunity to contact her. Han Han, your parents are doing well now. You'll be good there, waiting for them to come and find you. This was what my father said before hanging up hastily. Jiang Quan knew that his parents were looking for work again. Today, with the prevalence of AI, there is not much work that humans can do. Apart from mental and creative work, there are only heavy and tiring tasks that require more effort but less profit, and AI investment is not cost-effective. In fact, before the arrival of glaciers, the development of AI was already very rapid, and the number of jobs that humans could work on was severely reduced. Jiang Quan's parents do high investment and low income labor, but because their parents are very hardworking, they gradually accumulate some assets, and the family lives comfortably. After being transferred to the underground, due to environmental restrictions, there will only be fewer things that can earn money. Jiang Quan felt a little heartbroken as he thought about his parents' silver thread slowly turning white. My parents are working so hard, and I should also contribute to their reunion. Working together with more people will give me more strength. Jiang Quan has been looking for things to do since receiving the nutrient solution in the past few days. However, there are too few things to find in the underground environment, and finally there are things that require human work. Jiang Quan does not have the relevant skills and physical strength. I searched for many days without any results. End of this chapter
Chapter 3 Internal Testing You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 3 Internal Testing Jiang Quan felt a bit frustrated. She returned to her sleep chamber to see if she could find some work she could do online. She originally wanted to do what she was good at and draw comics. Although the comic industry is becoming increasingly popular, it seems that the demand for humans is also decreasing. But Jiang Quan felt that with his hard work, the possibility of finding a job in this industry should be the greatest, at least with some income. But her current dilemma is that she doesn't have any tools. A single penny won't defeat a hero, and Jiang Quan now hopes that there can be some startup funds. As the saying goes, if you have the heart to plant flowers, they will not bloom, if you have no heart to plant willows, they will become shade. Jiang Quan is looking at various jobs that require humans online, either living is not suitable for her, or she is not suitable for living. Desperate, she strolled through the game forum to rest assured and saw a new game bulletin board. Survival Game in Beta The Test of Survival, The Adventure of the Brave Drought, Floods, Earthquakes, Volcanic Eruptions, Tsunamis There are various disaster environments here, how long can you survive from them? Braves Come and give it a try. On February 1, 2862, 10,000 beta tests were opened, and players are welcome to try them out. The beta test will start at 9 a.m. on February 1, and players can register in the game with their ID code. Jiang Quan saw a high number of replies to this post, and many people expressed their desire to grab an account and play. She felt that this might be an opportunity. With her recent luck, she might be able to grab an account and sell it, which would pay for the first purchase of drawing tools. On February 1st, Jiang Quan went to queue early to collect the nutritional liquid for that day. Then the gods, Buddhas, and Bodhisattvas from all walks of life, who were asked, devoutly clicked on the game link below the announcement. After a few seconds of waiting, the game was successfully loaded. Jiang Quan's eyes were pitch black, and he could only hear a cute baby voice saying, Welcome to the game, survival. The beta test has not started yet, please be patient. Jiang Quan, with the determination to grab the number, advanced half an hour. In front of her pitch black eyes, she was afraid of falling asleep while waiting for a while. Exit and wait for time to re enter, then the gods and bodhisattvas just now are not in vain. Jiang Quan closed his eyes and tried to operate it to see if there was anything he could do. I have also referred to the internal testing of other games before, and I have never encountered a situation like this where there is nothing and everything is pitch black. Whether it's a small game or a big game, all kinds of beautiful movie posters are overwhelming. Jiang Quan's various operation games have not replied, and she is a bit confused. Is this a game that requires manual operation to play? With the development of technology, most large games have evolved from holographic helmets to using consciousness to operate in sleep chambers, and there are also a few small games that still retain the previous manual operation. If it were a manual game, Jiang Quan felt that he might not be able to compete for the number. The sleep compartments in the rescue area were of relatively low specifications, which means that there was very little space for people to operate when sleeping. If you manually operate while asleep, it would be too challenging for your skills. Jiang Quan was lost in thought for a while, when suddenly a white light flashed before his eyes. A virtual screen slowly appeared in front of him. In the middle of the screen, a creature that looked like a cloud blinked its big eyes and said, the internal test number will be issued in five minutes, please be prepared. It's the cute doll voice just now. Jiang Quan stared at the cloud and blinked, mm, what do you need to prepare? End of this chapter. Chapter 4 Number Snatching You are listening at NovelFull.audio The source has no content or has errors. Chapter 5 Game Rules You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 5 Game Rules Player the Han Xiao Han cannot be changed, gender. Female cannot be changed, points. 100, Redemption, 
level. In turn brave, upgradable, skill. None item. None below the basic information, there are two prominent tag texts. Game rules and start of the game. Jiang Quan clicked on the game rules and carefully examined them. Game rules. 1. One ID code can only be linked to one game account, and cannot be modified or transferred for sale after registration. 2. Successfully completing the level can earn corresponding points and skill item rewards. 3. The conversion ratio of points to real currency is 1.1, and the conversion ratio to game currency is 1.100. 4. Players who survive for 100 days can choose to exit the game. There are no skill rewards for actively exiting the game, only guaranteed points. 5. Death cannot be resurrected in the game, please cherish your life. 6. The ultimate interpretation of the game is the survival game company. After reading the rules, Jiang Quan read the third point several times and couldn't believe it. He asked the little cloud floating on her shoulder just now, can points be exchanged for money with a 1.1 exchange ratio with real currency? Yes, Han Han, Jiang Quan suppressed his excitement and didn't notice the affectionate way this little cloud called her. Jiang Quan eagerly turned off the game rules introduction. Go back to the previous page and click on the redemption button behind the points. Sure enough, the exchange dialog box immediately appeared with two options. Game currency and real currency. Jiang Quan chose real currency and then clicked to exchange 10 points. A few seconds later, a prompt sound of receiving coins appeared in Jiang Quan's personal account. Jiang Quan clicked in and saw that the account displayed a balance of 10 yuan. Jiang Quan's current mood is indescribable. This is her first personal income after transferring to the underground castle and becoming a relief worker. She pulled Little Cloud over her shoulder, rubbed it vigorously, and buried her face in Cloud's body, taking a deep breath. This texture is too soft, isn't it? Xiao Yunduo let out a cute voice of protest and after struggling to escape from Jiang Quan's hands, she immediately drifted away from her. This human is also too terrifying. They are afraid. After expressing himself, Jiang Quan slowly calmed down. Her attitude towards games became solemn. I was originally thinking about grabbing all the numbers and trying it out, but I didn't expect such a big surprise. The game's points can be exchanged for real currency, so she can completely treat this game as a job to complete. She looked at the rules several times and found that this game seemed to have many special features. Is the account non-transferable for trading? Can't players resurrect after death? Can points still be exchanged for real currency? These are all things that other games have never heard of. How can a game empty a player's private account when it does this? Jiang Quan was holding on to a stomach full of questions and was about to ask Xia Yunduo, only to find that Xia Yunduo was eight Zhang away from her, and her small body was floating and trembling over there. Puzzling. Ha ha ha, Jiang Quan looked at the cute and pitiful little cloud and couldn't help but laugh out loud. It's really been a long time since she felt so relaxed. Xia Yunduo, don't be afraid. Sister is not like this usually. Sister is so gentle. Jiang Quan said with a mother's heart, blaming Auntie. I'm not Xiao Yunduo, I have a name, my name is Duoduyun. Xiao Yunduo, oh no, although Duoduyun was a bit scared, he still corrected Jiang Quan's nickname with a cute and innocent expression. End of this chapter. Chapter 6 Preparation for Trial Play You are listening at novelfull.audio Chapter 6 Preparation for Trial Play Ok, I know now, Little Cloud. Jiang Quan wanted to grab and ravage this cloud again, but now she had something more important to ask, so she restrained herself. Duo Duo Yun Naiman's voice increased a bit, drifting two points closer to Jiang Quan. Ok, ok, Duo Duo Yun, Duo Duo Yun. If I die in my first game world and don't pass the level, can this basic point still be redeemed? 
novice players will have a chance to try out the beginner world, which is relatively easy. You need to have confidence in the cold world. If you don't pass the level, you can continue to redeem your points for real currency. This is the reward the game gives to warriors, and even those who fail are brave. Duoduyan answered the question and couldn't help but drift closer to Jiang Quan. Are all players in the same game world? Or are all NPCs in it except for me? Jiang Quan felt that there were too many unconventional ways to play in this game. She even asked all the questions she could think of, and now she is very unwilling to die in the game. There are many worlds in the game, and players are also random. Han Han may encounter other players in the game world, or he may not encounter them. Duo Duo Yun looked at Jiang Quan and asked questions seriously, without any strange actions, and returned to the state of drifting from the beginning. Duo Duo of Clouds drifted onto Jiang Quan's shoulder and stopped, pausing before continuing. Han Han needs to hide his player identity in the game, as exposure may bring unknown dangers. May exposure be dangerous? From NPC? Or are they from other players? Or what punishment does the game itself impose on exposed players? I haven't finished asking the old questions, but there are a bunch of new ones. The heart of defense is indispensable, and Jiang Quan decided not to risk himself. Han Han needs to prepare the game as soon as possible. Players can only stay in the main space for one hour. If the game has not started within an hour, it will pop up and cannot be entered again on the same day. Jiang Quan was about to continue asking, but Xia Yenduo's words immediately made her stop her quick to say questions. I asked another question instead. Can I ask you any questions during the game? I won't enter the game world with Han Han, only in the main space can Han Han see me. After Dua Duyun finished speaking, he drifted to the screen and clicked on the text to start the game. He seemed to know that Jiang Quan still had many problems. After clicking on the text to start the game, he said to Jiang Quan, Han Han, give it a try and you'll know. Jiang Quan actually has hands in this cloud. Why did he just start the game for me? Is this little guy lacking in rubbing? Waiting for the start of the game with a veil of doubt. The game did not start directly as imagined. The screen switched to another page, where several icons appeared, each with the words, Mall, Forum, Beginner Gift Pack, and World Map Selection. At the bottom, there are confirmation games and cancellation games. Jiang Quan understood why Xiao Yun didn't get her consent and quickly clicked to start the game. So there are still so many things that need to be operated, and the game can also be cancelled here. Han Han still has 28 minutes to prepare, Little Cloud said, causing Jiang Quan, who was just about to catch Little Cloud and look at his hand, to immediately turn his attention back to the game. Let's get down to business first. Little Cloud can catch her at any time, as long as she stays alive in the game. End of this chapter. Chapter 7 Trial Start You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 7 Trial Start Jiang Quan first clicked on the forum and wanted to see if there was any useful information. The forum shows that it is currently not open. She could only give up this idea and clicked on the beginner gift package. Suddenly, a large box, a pile of buckets of water, and some long sticks appeared in the space, not knowing what was inside. Wow! Cold Cold has taken out space. Duoduyun saw the box and immediately became excited. Jiang Quan went to the front of the box and saw a line on it that read, 10 square meters of mobile space, limited to items used in the current game world. Where should I put this big box in the game? Jiang Quan couldn't understand why Xiaoyun was so excited. After entering the game, all skills are stored in the player's consciousness, and players can use them according to their consciousness at any time. Duoduyan explained diligently to Jiang Quan. Jiang Quan went to see the bottled water and the long stick again, both of which were labeled with 10 barrels of bottled water, 20 liters, all items used in the world, and 10 energy sticks, each with one day of energy and a feeling of fullness, all items used in the world. 
Jiang Quan has never seen such an energy stick before. It seems that there will be food in the game that is not available in real life. She noticed that there is no word only for use in the current game world on these two items, and guessed that they should be available in all game worlds. Sure enough, Zaya Yunduo said, the game skills and items are divided into three types for use in the current game, with the option to choose the world to use. There are three types for use in all worlds. The skills and items used in the current game will disappear after the game ends, regardless of whether they are used or not. You can choose to use the skills and items in the world, which can be pre-stored in the main space warehouse grid. Players can choose not to use them before the game starts, and after use, the skills or items will disappear after the game ends. All worlds use skills and items, and player awareness automatically exists after the game starts. Except for consuming items, everything else can be used continuously in any game world Jiang Quan listened carefully to Xiao Yunhua's introduction and was full of longing for the skills used in all worlds. She quickly clicked into the mall, hoping to see if she could buy some skills that can be used in all worlds. The mall opens and is filled with a wide variety of items and various classifications. Jiang Quan opens options that can be used in all worlds. Glancing at it, I silently clicked on the point ranking option, from small to large. The points required for exchanging items made Jiang Quan's heart skip a beat from childhood to a calm and composed state of mind. This requires too many points, at least 100,000 points or more. Some skills require countless zeros after redeeming points. Jiang Quan looked at the 90 points on his account and immediately became stretched thin. After changing the ranking of points, it really improved a lot, and Jiang Quan breathed a sigh of relief. There are still many things that can be exchanged by oneself. Jiang Quan looked at it page by page, and most of the items she could exchange were limited to the current game world, while others were available for use in selectable worlds. There were hardly any items used in all worlds, and only a few occasionally appeared as items. There are also very few skill classes that can be exchanged, mostly limited to the current game world, and there are not many skill classes available for use in the selectable world. Jiang Quan flipped through a few pages and finally found out why Xia Yenduo was so excited when she saw the 10 square meter mobile space skill just now. End of this chapter. Chapter 8 Entering the Game You are listening at novelfull.audio Chapter 8 Entering the Game Because she also saw this skill in the mall, with 1 square meter of mobile space, which can only be used in the current game world, exchanging it actually requires 1000 points. Jiang Quan quickly scanned the skills and items she could exchange. Just exit the mall and click on the world map selection. The game map is divided into four sections. Simple, Normal, Difficult, and Hell. At present, only simple maps are unlocked, while others need to be upgraded to a certain level before they can be unlocked. Jiang Quan clicked on the simple option, which offers various types of disaster maps to choose from, but each map requires corresponding points, and the minimum map also requires 10 points. There is also a random option below the map, which does not require integration. Jiang Quan was a bit sad and angry. Her 90 points were also pitifully low. She wanted to choose a map based on her current skill items, but couldn't bear to use the points. Randomness could only rely on luck. Jiang Quan looked pitifully at Xia Yunduo and said, Duo Duo, didn't you say there were beginners trying out the world before? This also needs to be exchanged for points here. Duo Duyun didn't call Jiang Quan Xiaoyun when she saw her, nor did she mind whether she called her Duo Duyun or Duo Duo. His cute and adorable answer was, you can choose from the trial world inside. Novice players have a chance to choose a map for free. Just click on the map you want to choose. Jiang Quan followed Xiao Yunhua's introduction and selected a drought disaster, then chose ancient times. Based on the skills and items she has drawn now, drought should be able to play a certain role. She has always had a fondness for ancient life. After Jiang Quan clicks on the map, a dialogue box appears. 
do players want to choose this map for free? Then there is an option to confirm and cancel. Jiang Quan decisively selected and confirmed. After confirmation, return to the initial page, and the map selection has changed to map selected. Jiang Quan opened the store again and exchanged 10 barrels of bottled water, 20 liters, and 100 boxes of compressed biscuits, spending a total of 20 points. I saw 2 points for the colorless and odorless mosquito repellent spray, 1 point for 500 grams of salt, and 1 point for 500 grams of sugar, all of which were exchanged for 2 portions each and used up 8 points. These items are all usable in all worlds. Eating and drinking are guaranteed to a certain extent, and safety is also very important. Jiang Quan has entered the skill screening, and there are indeed many self.defense skills. However, she is shy in her pocket. After removing the points that were exchanged just now, only 62 points are left. She has almost no redeemable or self.defense skills. Jiang Quan had no choice but to choose items, which usually require less points to redeem. There are quite a few options to choose from, including 18 types of weapons, including 1 point for a regular wooden stick and 28 points for a portable military dagger. Jiang Quan hesitated for a moment and exchanged it for a portable military dagger. She was about to search again to see what else she could exchange. She saw the game currency exchange in the upper left corner, where she exchanged 10 points. Looking at the number written on it, which was 1,000 copper coins, Jiang Quan thought for a moment and went to exchange for two portions of 500 grams of salt. According to Jiang Quan's shallow ancient knowledge, salt was definitely very expensive in ancient times, so it would be more cost-effective to buy more in the space mall. The remaining 22 points were all exchanged for game currency by Jiang Quan. After finishing these tasks, Jiang Quan waved to Xiao Yun Duo and said, See you in the next game, Duo Duo, and then clicked to confirm the game. End of this chapter. Chapter 9 The First Game World. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 9 The First Game World Jiang Quan's brain experienced a dizziness and he lost consciousness. When she woke up again on a mountain, she leaned against a tree and placed a bamboo basket next to it, which contained some wild vegetables and mushrooms. Jiang Quan's mind was filled with unfamiliar memory information, so she simply sat down by the tree to sort out the information in her mind. Her current role is a 13.year.old girl named Li Jiuhua. In this era, parents cannot be separated, so her family is also considered to have a large population. The eldest one is her grandmother, who is 58 years old this year and can be considered old. Grandpa passed away two years ago due to illness. My grandparents have given birth to six children, except for two who haven't stopped, there are also two sons and two daughters, both of whom are already married. Uncle Li Monsang and Aunt Qian gave birth to five children, three daughters and two sons. The eldest daughter got married, and the second daughter died young. The eldest son Li Tsunxi married his wife Wang and gave birth to a girl named Daya, who is four years old this year. My youngest son Li Kunal is fifteen years old this year, and my youngest daughter Li Xinghua is the same age as Jiang Quan's current character, who is also thirteen years old. They have not yet formed a marriage and are slowly getting to know each other. Another one is her parents, who have only given birth to two children. Apart from Li Jiuhua, there is also a son who is only 10 years old this year. Father Li Mandun is the youngest son of his grandmother and is most favored by her. Grandma usually favors her family, but because her mother injured her body when giving birth to a younger brother, she can no longer have children, so she has some opinions about her mother. Fortunately, her father is quite discerning and not a foolish and filial person. He never hesitates on major matters, and her mother's life is relatively comfortable. Living with a big family, there are always some ups and downs, but there are no major conflicts. Compared to most families in the village, it is relatively peaceful. The village where she lives is called Shoutao Village, named after a large peach forest in the village. There are over a hundred households of villagers in Shoutao Village. 
Here, nestled by mountains and rivers, the weather has been favorable in recent years. Although it is only an hour or two away from the town, the villagers are living comfortably here. As the saying goes, relying on mountains to eat mountains, relying on water to eat water. In addition to farming, villagers usually go up the mountains to pick wild vegetables and mushrooms. For those with good luck, they can occasionally play some game to improve their meals. In addition to a large river, Shoutao village also has a small river. During summer, the small river is contracted by older children, who fish, shrimp, swim, and take a shower. Small rivers are not like big rivers. Some parents do not allow young children to go to big rivers, and the deepest part of the small river only reaches the thighs of older children. Therefore, most parents are not very restrained, and they can even fish, shrimp, and have a tooth festival. Jiang Quan knows now, and this information should be some of Li Jihua's life memories. She was a bit surprised by the realism of this game. Although she didn't play many large dot scale games before, she has also played many farming and lifestyle games. There has never been a person like this game who directly inserted a character, as if she was the one living here. Jiang Quan looked at his small hands and the clothes worn by ancient rural children, feeling that he didn't seem to be playing games at all. This is not like playing games, it's like traveling through time and space. After digesting some basic information, Jiang Quan gained a basic understanding of the place. She got up and picked up the bamboo vine, intending to continue digging for some wild vegetables. The current time is around March, and the villagers are already preparing for spring plowing. At this time in previous years, there have been several spring rains. End of this chapter Chapter 10 Before Drought You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 10 Before Drought Jiang Quan relied on his character's memory to shuttle through the mountains, digging wild vegetables and picking mushrooms. Although the little girl was not very old, she didn't feel very tired from the mature relationship. Once upon a time, Jiang Quan would sit and draw pictures all day long, running a few steps would make her gasp for breath. If it weren't for advanced medical care, she would have died suddenly on the way to drawing pictures. Breathing fresh air and doing some physical labor like this now is really a different feeling. Since the winter's snow last year, it has not rained, so there are not many wild vegetables and mushrooms on the mountain, but Jiang Quan has been harvested with a delicious taste. Sister Sister, Jiang Quan squatted on the ground, digging hard at a small clump of wild vegetables when he heard shouting from a distance. The information in her mind automatically appeared, and it was her brother Li Tsunbao calling her. Ah, Jiang Quan stood up and responded loudly. Auntie called you to go home, why are you digging wild vegetables so late today? The person shouting still had a childish voice. He should have been running, shouting and panting. Let's go back now, wait for me to dig out this bunch of wild vegetables. Jiang Quan finished his sentence and continued to dig up the wild vegetables that had not been dug up just now. The wild vegetables were dug up, and Jiang Quan picked up the bamboo vine on his back and walked down the mountain. In no time, Li Tsunbao came over. Li Tsunbao is a handsome boy with a thin and frail body, wearing thin clothes. He is slightly taller than Jiang Quan's current body. He naturally took the bamboo lu carried by Jiang Quan. Question. Sister, is it still easy to dig wild vegetables? Not bad, you can still find a lot if you look carefully. Jiang Quan didn't have to carry a bamboo trellis and was happy to relax. She picked up a wild grass on the roadside and walked behind her current brother. I will take a rest tomorrow and come with my sister to find wild vegetables and mushrooms. Jiang Quan adjusted her memory about this younger brother, and she was quite satisfied. Li Tsunbao has been very clever and obedient since childhood. In recent years, the family has had a good harvest and was sent to the only school in the village to study and recognize characters two years ago. Usually, when I come back from school, I help with household chores and also teach the former Li Jiuhua how to read. Take a break and review the knowledge you learned in school. 
There aren't many wild vegetables now, so you don't have to waste your time on them. Because Jiang Quan had a good impression of this younger brother, he couldn't help but nag him. I know everything the teacher taught me. A few days ago, I heard from Uncle Sai that the weather this year is a bit strange, and I don't know when it will rain. Li Tsunbao lifted the bamboo vine on his shoulder and continued, Let's go to Daqing Mountain together. There are fewer people there, and there will definitely be more wild vegetables and mushrooms. We will pick more and make them into dried vegetables. Now that the spring rain hasn't started yet, the crops will definitely be affected, and these wild vegetables will also be food. Jiang Quan looked at this little boy with a lot of emotion and said, You're not very old, and you still have a lot to worry about. The gentleman said, If there is no foresight, there must be immediate worries. Li Tsunbao seemed to be a bit dissatisfied with what his sister said, and he briefly refuted it. Okay, let's bring some dry food tomorrow and go early in the morning. Jiang Quan looked at his sensible younger brother and didn't force him to stay at home reading. Jiang Quan knew that there would definitely be no rain in the future and a few months. Taking advantage of the current situation that is not very serious, it is better to prepare more. Although this world is a simple beginner's world, no matter how simple the natural disaster is, one must be well prepared. End of this chapter